All right, we are back again by another popular demand for, actually, I should say for the first time we're back by popular demand for a series like this. We have been doing the first and last episodes of specific TV shows for quite a while now on the channel, covering topics from the Vampire Diaries to the originals all the way up until Victorious. But a little bit ago, when I was polling for Victorious, I also had Pretty Little Liars as an option, and you all also wanted that just as much as Victorious. So I'm very excited today. We're going to be watching the first and last episode of Pretty Little Liars. Also, another big shout out to Dylan is in trouble who has created this sort of video idea that we've all started to do now all over the platform of YouTube. Once again, I'm going to reiterate, I've never seen the show before. I've never seen videos on it before. So I'm very excited to see what this is all about. I've heard it's like a mystery suspense, who's the killer, something sort of whatever. I don't really know, but I hope you guys are excited because I sure as heck am. But before we hop into it, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button. I would truly appreciate it. Comment down below and help push us farther into the algorithm. Also, don't forget to follow me at my two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Don't forget to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash movies in depth, where we stream every single time a new video goes live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to check out my Discord community and you can come chat with me and the rest of the movies in depth family. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut length reaction to this and all other movies and TV shows covered on the channel as well. But before we hop into today's video, I want to tell you all about today's very special video sponsor, Friendspire. So this is kind of a funny story how this all came to be, but this is one of those scenarios where this is a true collaboration between friends and a product that I truly believe in. Specifically, I want to give a shout out to the Movie Buds for getting me in contact with the Friendspire team. So basically, Friendspire is a way for you to pick different genres, movies, TV shows, whatever you might have a fancy in, in the entertainment world and be able to tailor your likes and differences onto a specific platform and be able to recommend you different things that you may not have thought to watch or listen to before. So when I got onto the app, I actually have started a new thing that I'm very excited for y'all to go check out because I really do want y'all to go sign up and to follow me and to check out all the different things that I've reviewed and rated. I have started backlogging my entire catalog of content from YouTube, TV shows, movies, whatever I have covered. I now have a ranking over on Friendspire. I even put some notes notes in there to let you all know my different thoughts and feelings as I'm watching and I want to continue to do that throughout the rest of my YouTube career because I do believe in this app this much so I really implore you all go over there sign up for the app it's completely free go follow me go check out the videos I've done in the past and the movies that I've covered and movies that I may not have covered for the channel on Patreon or just in real life once again a massive thank you to Friendspire for sponsoring today's video and let's just get right into this <laughs> Don't get me started with the bot to kick off this right away. Come on, I'm trying to hate on this. Guys, make sure you huddle up. We've got to get a poster out of this. Ah, gotcha. oh, you silly little thing. You trying to scare us again? <laughs> so I'm expecting to have murder, mystery, gossip, and basically everything I want out of a TV show. Take too much and don't tell us all your secrets. <laughs> me in college. Friends share secrets. That's what keeps us close. Except I'm not friends with any of you Where's Allie and Spencer? Wait, so did they all get drugged by that drink? Or did they just drink so much they passed out? Look, I heard a scream. Well, don't get me started on scream. I love this one. It's a scream, baby. One year later, and they're still writing about her? <laughs> Weird to be home. I feel like this girl just needs to permanently live inside of a country music video. And those feelings don't just go away. I need to ride to lacrosse. There's lacrosse in this universe? Oh my god, Teen Wolf stands, rise up! Come on, let's go look in the garage. So judging by those wood beams, this family must be loaded. You okay? Dad, still keeping your secret. What, what did I say? We've got a uh, kidnapping and secrets within the first five minutes of this. Where's my murder and we're good to go. Can I get a cheeseburger, please? Is it just me or do you just not go to bars looking for cheeseburgers? I feel like that's such a weird thing. If I go to a bar, I'm just looking to drink. I spent some time in Reykjavik before I went to Amsterdam. It's a great city. That guy has the face of someone who's very familiar and also no idea who they are at the exact same time. God, I love this song. Don't say, do you want to dance? Don't say you want to dance. Uh, well, I'm leaning toward English. That's what I'm teaching. He's a professor? Oh shit, here we go, teacher, student. I tried writing, 
How to know you're not a reader? You're using that book as a literal coaster. Sir, there is a thing called condensation. Take that off. I'd like to know more about you too. So it go. I thought we were saying no more about you, not no more about the insides of you. <laughs> I'm so bad. Got a secret, can you keep it? Literally in the theme song, it says got a secret. Man, I'm too good at predicting this stuff. So are all of these girls rich or is it just like two or three of them? But you're stunning and shopping. Tweet, tweet. No, is this when Twitter got big? Is this when it got big? Do you remember what Ali said that night about our secrets keeping us close? Sweetie pie, I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, let alone what someone said to me a year ago. See you on the playground. See you. I get it where Arcane got that from. Welcome to the playground. It's Oh, she stole it. I was about to say, I didn't think they were all rich, so she may not be rich. Nice scarf. Nice glasses. We've got two criminals. Hey, two for a dollar. The first day, I don't want to be late. I love you, Arya. You know that, right? Wait a second. Why is he driving her to school if she drove her little brother to practice? I made a mistake, and I will be sorry about it for the rest of my life. So the dad cheat? What a loser. Come here. <laughs> Just like high school, a collective group of Here's the question, who is he cheating with? <laughs> Sheesh, she is beautiful. So I hear the new teacher is really hot. All right, here's a real question. How many times do people think characters are dead in this series that then come back to life? Should I start a counter or? Oh, this is gonna be the teacher from the bar calling it. What's up, homeboy, how you doing? That's not gonna be awkward at all. Holy crap. You wanna make it a little more obvious of what went down? Also, kind of offended that his name is Mr. Fitz. My middle name is Fitzgerald, so. I'm Mr. Fitz. You are a new English teacher. XOXO. Minor abuse. Allison? Oh, that's right. In this whole show, like, tailored around trying to find out who A is, I've seen, like, memes and bits on Twitter. Foie gras and cornichon. My favorite. Is it just me, or did I never have access to anything like that when I was their age? My mom's a cellist. Do you play? Yeah but not the cello. Then what do you play? If I smoked a little weed. Do you want to join me? Okay. First time. Yeah, see if they inhale. That's how you know. So I'm corrupting. You okay with that? Yes. I think I am. Famous last words. But it's beautiful. I think in my collective 25 years of existence, I have never seen someone unironically wear a sweater like that in today's day and age. We need our own space and mom and dad agree. But they promised me. Wait, so she built it and this is this gonna overtake it? The hell? I was hoping you'd be happy for me. I'm not. I just built this and you're trying to steal it. Does my sister know you smoke? Does she have to know everything? Oh no. I can already see it. They're gonna eventually get together, aren't they? I actually like you. That's gonna change in the future. She's gonna like you, like you. Oh, they're the sharks? I gotta love that. <laughs> Wanna take my horse to <laughs> Man, this show has so much in common with Riverdale. Look at Archie, and now we got her. Miss Grundy? Hey. When I first met you, I thought, who is this girl? But I'd rather not get arrested. You feel like this is right for us, too. But it's not right. We just can't. I'm proud of Mr. Fitz. I know for a fact it's not gonna hold up, but I'm proud of him in this moment. We got a, got a little uh, something something going on here. <laughs> Gonna get me invested before I can't ever actually watch it. My cousin Justin's looking for a little something something. Hey, Em, I've been replaced. You found another friend to kiss. Yo, what? Is everything all right? How in the world would they have seen her? They have to have been like spying through binoculars or something because they wouldn't make it that easy to make it the girl. You wouldn't happen to have a tell, would you? Uh, yeah, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> it's, yeah, I was just doing some medical anatomy. I had to make sure that her muscles were in the right formation. Next, I got to check the um, the uh, uh, fatty lipid area. I felt like we really bonded when we were away. Well, we had to connect. We didn't know anybody else. So I'm assuming that the husband has not told the wife that he cheated on her. That's just easy for stuff to get in the way. Oh, you know, like cheating? What kind of stuff could get in the way of us? No, nothing. Nothing like you know me. You're, you're kind of harping on some of the wrong things here. Don't worry about it. I might have been macking someone else, but you don't need to have any concern. Those must be some thin walls if she's able to hear them all the way in the barn from here. 
I don't even know who A is unless they're just some creeper running around with binoculars because how in the world would they see these situations? Are you really gonna eat that, sweetie? I'm being a friend, Hannah. Being a is more like it. I promise you, she is. Because if you don't tell her, I will. Tell her what? I'm trying to help you do the right thing. It was one kiss. Oh, they already kissed before? I had already called it and they've already done it. I will tell everyone the truth about the Jenna thing. Is this just a giant collective group of people trying to backstab each other over and over again? Why didn't you tell me Ari was back? Not like we're still friends. <laughs> it's hard enough for me to be able to keep my own name straight. If you try to add in new characters, it's just not gonna happen. Again, what are up with these homes? Why, uh, like, am I poor? Hannah, it's dinner time. It's Ashley. Isn't that kind of hypocritical there, Mom? We received a call from Rosewood Mall Security. They have your daughter on tape shoplifting a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> it sucks to suck. Could you turn around? You're telling me they're gonna arrest her for a pair of sunglasses? That's some <laughs> They would not arrest somebody for a pair of sunglasses. They would just ask for it back or pay them whatever the price was, no. Also, is it just me? If there was a communal bowl of M&Ms in a police station, uh, I would not be written into that. Mm -mm. No, sir. And I buy you everything you need to be popular. That's not why I do it. Why do you, this is something you do? Is it a power thing? I'll fix it somehow. You will deny you did anything wrong. I'm <sighs> taking care of it. Better learn your lesson, sweetie pie. She's driving a Benz too? Good lord, how much money do you all have? Dumb. Wait, am I gonna get my murder? Is this my murder part? I'm sorry, I found Allison's body. I've got it, baby. Secrets, murder, gossip, it's all here. The parents of the deceased were unavailable for comment, but- So are you saying that this body has been there for a year? Summer 15 year old Allison De Laurentiis disappeared. 15. So they're all 16? And that girl was making out with that high school teacher? Jesus. Catch a case, sweetie. You, you didn't think at all that your daughter might be there while you all come home? There's this thing called motel rooms. Use them. You care? Should you still be talking to her outside of school grounds, given the fact that you are probably 26 and she is probably 16? For Allison or for being a jerk? Both. Jerk, predator, same thing, right? Son of a <laughs> No, why? This is how we're kicking off this show? Jesus. He got a jail sentence waiting for him. I asked the other girls to sit together up front. It's what Allison would have wanted. It's also what our advertising team would have wanted as well. Oh my God, it's Jenna. Who is Jenna? See, I'm terrible with names. I, I can't picture who is who at this point. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Kind of brutal, but yes, Father, you are correct. Do we know you? I'm Detective Wilden. Is it not enough that you've been banging her mom? Do you really have to go talk to them too? Do you think he knows about- No, no how could he? Knows about what? Well, I'm assuming you all are getting texted at the same time now. Okay, so there's really not much I can predict because I feel like a show like this, it's just gonna constantly change on who's liking who, who's getting with who, who's murdering who, who's texting, you know what I mean? So the only thing I'm gonna guess is who A is. And to be honest, I think that this show is kind of gonna evolve as it goes along. We're gonna have multiple A's. It's gonna be one person for now, but I'm not sure who it's gonna be later. And I really think they're trying to misdirect us by saying that it's not one of the main four because I don't think it's the girl who's missing. I don't think that's who it is. Maybe they came up with a way to send delayed text messages. That's how they're doing this, but I'm not really sure. I think because of the trauma they've gone through, from what I gather from the first episode and the things that they're doing, I think Hannah is A in the first season. That's my guess. Y'all have to let me know if, I, if I'm right or wrong in the, in the comments. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen in the final episode. I hope you all are ready and let's just hop right into that. Previously on Pretty Little Life. Oh boy, I need these synopsises. Give it to me, baby. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Wait, the f is that the teacher? No. Is that the teacher from the first season? Points one more time. I killed Archer Dunhill. Who the hell's Archer? She killed Charlotte and she tried to kill Hannah. She didn't know who I was. Well, I collectively know nothing that's happening right now. It's dead. Did we end the game or did Mary Drake? What game? Really? What in the tap dance in hell are you doing over there, G Gene Kelly? Ice panties? No, Aria, ice panty line. Have they really degraded to just having a guy running around them tapping to try to spice up the show? Exhibiting signs of hyperreality. And a horse. And a 
freaking horse. I just can't believe we never figured out who it was. Oh, they still don't know? It's the end of the show and they don't know who A is? I feel so sorry for you all. This better be a dream. Like, mmm, no jackets and it's snowing outside. I feel wonderful. I never would have guessed it was you. I don't even remember who you are, so. That's what this one you say. Did they keep the same intro thing from the very first episode? Good God, you all got teased for seven seasons. I am so happy I did this. <laughs> Take a second to appreciate this Robert Redford. One year later? What is up with him doing one year later? Okay, if you don't stop looking at me like that, I am never going to be able to say our vows. With Please let me know in the comments because I really cannot discern anyone from anyone at this point. Is that the same English teacher? as the first episode because if so problematic here you go yeah is that a no you don't like peas i know what show i'm in don't try to feed me jen gerson but oh right oh, good girl oh are these two together now girls Hi. i love you i love you too what okay kind of living but i was hoping you'd consider swapping the barn for your old room are we still having arguments over the barn i feel like this whole show just goes back to the first episode in a bad way. Can I help you? Is that a big reveal? I, I have no idea. So he's a little shy? Yeah, he's a rescue. There are rescue horses? Orson Welles said that if you want a happy ending. So she's now an English teacher? Good God, we've had a whole full circle moment here. Finish a book and you don't want it to end. Even though the characters are happy, you're still sad that it's ending. Do you think they intentionally did that for this being the last episode of this show? Let's go. <laughs> Excuse me, what did you say? Girl. That girl was 35 years old. But then again, it wouldn't be the first time someone buried you. It's Ms. De Laurentiis. Is this just an entire collective of or? Yikes. You okay? I'm fine. Who would bully her? Y'all are a bunch of dicks. Some of us can see and hear. So go. How much of a is she? I don't normally wish for characters to get the mean girls, you know, thrown in front of a bus treatment, but I do with her. Right up your hair. I may not be able to see, but I can smell a bitch of all the way. Ooh, that's a line, baby. Suck on that. She still creeps me out. So how many of them stayed behind to be teachers? Isn't that kind of weird? With your designs taking off, me selling my software to Lucas. Bought the loft. I think I've had maybe one conversation like these shows have every single episode of arguments about real life stuff in my entire life. Have you told Mary? We've decided that when we're both ready. Who's Mary? Well, since we can't go with you on your honeymoon, we thought we'd spend a night in Provence with you guys. I don't know if this is cute or a little bit creepy. <gasps> an empty chair! There's a church camp across the lake. Noisy Christians. Doesn't sound like Christian, sounds like a slasher flick. <laughs> we never took a honeymoon. <laughs> Not trying to throw me under the bus there, are you, sweetie? To love. That's kind of why I imagine this whole show is. Just some random character hiding in the bushes watching them at all times. Like that! How many people does it take to make a mojito? Two. If someone says I need your help at a party, that means get your ass up and come help me discuss gossip. Good night. Subtle. Wanky. Bunch of couples and these two plus a hitchhiker. You want to take me back to your room? How many points is squeegee? <laughs> You took her back to your room to play Scrabble? That's old for even me. Well, can it wait a half hour? I'm trying to get pregnant. That is exactly why we need to talk about this. This is the conversation they're having after they just patoinka What? Are you sure? Y'all remember this is Pretty Little Liars, right? We gotta have some drama in this and stalkers in this. They really did just go up to the room to play Scrabble and go to sleep. How to be married without being married. What if she just wrote out, I want to f you. I can't marry Ezra. <laughs> Did you realize he was your teacher or something? It took her a lot to be able to get that zipper down. <laughs> what the f did I just watch? Are we doing invasion of the body snatchers in this You sh asked me to put on the Melissa mask and then you don't even want me to use it. It was a test. We went from just gossip about marriages and teachers and whatever to body snatchers. Well, no wonder nobody figured out who A is. They added this to it. Man, it would be nice to know who these characters are. How are you holding up? I need your help. If you can't tell, sweetie, I'm kind of behind bars right now, so I don't really know how much help I can do. Mona. That's her mom? I know who I want to talk to. I'm not allowed to have alcohol, but 
I could go for a cocktail wiener. It's like anything that has a cocktail in it. <laughs> oh, it's the dad. Did you ever get caught for cheating? You never made a persuasive argument as to why we should feel good about you as a son-in-law. And I guess that's why we do. That's an interesting way of saying good job. Just don't screw it up. Like you did. I would never serve my guests cocktail wieners. Okay. And they, they look like split cocktail wieners. She looked at me like I spit out a tooth. Your fingers don't get greasy and the cheese doesn't slide off. Yeah, it's a woman that knows what she's doing. Cheers. <laughs> that seems like the start to the Sex in the City sequel. Going right in. You want company? All right. He's got a little bit of game. I see you. You got something, something going on there. Everybody's got a cousin who can hook them up with something. We have to, we have to make a couple of extra stops. Okay. One involves the liquor store, the other involves your dad's old house. Just because they sometimes let you. What does that even mean? That's me this entire show, baby. How long have you known? I just wanted to be sure. A few weeks. Oh boy, here we go. Been waiting for drama. Do these things together? Yeah, I was scared. Or... Yeah, you can be scared, but you gotta have someone that you trust. I'm sorry. I'm kind of on his side here. Like, I get that she was scared and nervous, but this is something that you need to at least discuss with your partner. Is that R the same font that they use for the Pretty Little Liars logo? We're not going to sleep until you tell me what's in that purse. Well, don't you feel like I had this whole romantic proposal planned. Yeah, you two seem perfect for each other. Completely trusting, all that stuff. Oh, this is sweet. Gotta give the show this. And also, do you see that ring? I was her first thing in the morning. She kind of gives me a little bit of Scarlett Johansson vibes. Is it just me? How much damage can she do in one night? Famous last words. You wanna make a baby? Even when I want to have a kid someday, I will never say that. I think you're gonna wanna let this one in. Yep, called it. At this hour, you'll be up all night. <laughs> Mama Sita, come inside. Persistent. Yes, creepy Pennywise music, can you stop? Where you going yet? Deja vu, bitch. <laughs> we are in a Pretty Little Liars episode, right? <laughs> oh no, I've escaped from Pretty Little Liars and I've ended up in the U universe! Show. <laughs> hey. Do they really think that these masks will be that good? I needed help to get out. So you and your friend should stay vigilant. Thanks, we're going to a wedding, but we'll keep that in mind, Big Chief. Well, you missed breakfast. The hell are you, British me? I don't think you can pretend like you don't know who I am. I'd remember if we met love. Are you just saying that they're an in real life doppelganger? I guess How I Met Your Mother had an influence on this show. Jasmine. Can't we found a stripper who looks exactly like Lily. I guess you could say he has a type. First her, then you, then her, then me. What is happening? Spencer, you've got this in. Yeah, this is where I think watching the show might have given me some sort of understanding of what the f is happening. She pretended to be Jessica to sleep with my father, and now you're pretending to be me to sleep with Toby. Who's trying to sleep with who? Those bitches took her away from me, and now they're getting everything that they deserve. Okay, so they're sisters, I guess. Ren, this is Ezra Fitz. Hello, pleasure. It was the teacher. That's his last name, Mr. Fitz. Me, that is so bad. After everything I put them through, you're oh, joking. Alex, come on. I could never be one of them. Not as Alex. So she wanted to be a part of the friend group, but oh my god, this is just getting so convoluted. I have to look exactly like her. This is just freaking weird. <laughs> what have he missed? But he is always close by. I turned his ashes into an eternity. I told you all that shit. This was a freaking you universe. What the hell is happening? Sorry. I've got to go get Red Day. Red Day. <laughs> Fuck me. Out of all the ridiculous accents they could have given her Cockney, they really had to go Cockney. Agaria's wedding dress. <laughs> it might just be my taste, but I kind of think that dress is ugly. <laughs> oh my God, are you crying too? I think it's the middle part. I don't like the middle part. It's like frilly, but it's off colored. Yeah, of course. <sighs> 
<laughs> so is homegirl's plan to legit just take over for that other girl for her sister's life just wants to keep on living no matter what that's she has a lot of therapy to go through what do you think goes through the minds of the people that make rooms like this it's like huh there's a glass cage with locks and a little hole to put food through are you starting up a private prison? And in time, you'll earn her trust and she'll let you out of your room. Why didn't you ever tell me about her? That's so creepy. What the f Was her if she was even alive? I hate it when stories do this. It's like, up until this point, y'all have no idea what's going on. And then out of nowhere, oh yeah, by the way, sorry, you actually had twins and your sister we never heard from again. <laughs> yeah, and that convenient. Well, that didn't take long. I don't care if you love her or not. Drop kicker, run. Yeah, I don't think family therapy is gonna help this group out. Yo, nice. Hey, Ezra? Oh, it's Ezra. What's going on, my guy? And we're locked in some sort of do-it-yourself dungeon, so no, I'm I'm not okay. <laughs> do-it-yourself dungeon, that's pretty good. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is too unfortunate. So I'm assuming the end of this episode is gonna be them actually being able to get married. What's up, trauma? You became AD because of Charlotte. What is AD? Are you saying that they went from AA, AB, AC to AD? So there have been four A's? Because if so, the That was by far the fastest time. This is the biggest collection of garble goop I've ever seen. Crazy right? They're identical. Twins. Easiest cop out for a mystery in a show ever. So I trusted her when she told me that you were toxic. You're saying that she's toxic? You might want to look inside of a mirror just once in a while. What's gonna happen to Ezra? Well, he's not family. Why is he here? Why do you care about Ezra? She is all kinds of creepy. <laughs> yeah, horses know when you're actually bullshitting them. I do love it though when animals are the ones that give it away. Mrs. Fitz! No, I, I'm not Mrs. Fitz. The hell? Are you Mrs. Fitz? Uh, no. I didn't walk into a, a cartoon. Morning, around uh, 10 o'clock. Why would Ezra book you on a hot air balloon ride if he wasn't planning on marrying you? The guy doing the hot air balloons like, I've stepped into something I wasn't aware of. Thanks again. That'd be kind of ironic if she's the one that figures it out. I know this may sound weird, but I don't think Spencer Spencer. She did figure it out. Of anyone that could, I, I can believe it that she would. She picks up on the most minute of details. Okay, are we really saying that AD is back? Yeah, that she's Spencer's evil twin? What is an AD? We're not talking assistant director here. You need to tell me who you are and where you are. I don't even know who the f you are. He's in love with Spencer, not you. Well, I am Spencer now. She is psychotic. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this girl's gotta die. Prison, no, die. Who bought it? I guess now we know. So let's go. Is it ironic that she bought the house of the guy that's in love with, that's a lot. Wait, that's they didn't even show her again uh, now. What the Send her now! Don't wait for them to see you, are you stupid? This is fake. Are you kidding me? It's a dome? All she has is an ax. You two can fight her off. There's nowhere to hide. There's ridiculous, and then there's just psychotic. This stuff is all brand new. There's still tags on them. And she's a thief. Just adding more. Really? Really? <gasps> all she has is an axe. Just kick her in the crotch and run. I'm sorry that you got the wrong end of the deal. I'm sorry you got the wrong end of the deal. Are you five? There you go. <laughs> Come on, kick her. <laughs> oh no, is this gonna turn into, no, it's me, no, it's me, no, it's me, no, it's me. <laughs> That's exactly what this is gonna turn into. Toby, it's me, Spencer. Don't listen to her. Oh my God, we've got one of these scenarios. Are you serious? Tell me your favorite poem from the book you gave me. Ooh, that's a good way. Ta robe sur la tapis. That's a good way to figure it out. Okay, all right. You don't know the half of it. Who are you again? I told you all it was gonna end with the wedding. I knew it was gonna end this way. For worse. I'm sorry, but I will not be that person that takes a newborn baby to a wedding to mess things up. Sorry, sweetie. She's loud, I know. You say your vows just one more time. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Is it going to say something from A? Please, no. Mr. and Mrs. Fitz. <laughs> Started as an underage teacher relationship and now they're getting married. Woo! 
Ooh. It's not actually from Peking. Okay, you don't know that for sure, Spencer. Kind of surprised all five of them made it to the end. Rather impressive. Is it actually possible that all of us are happy at the same time? Oh my God, don't say that out loud, it's a jinx. Pretty Little Liars, the sequel. <laughs> it's a little early, but I'm pregnant. A little early? Didn't you all just start trying recently? I uh, got out of one bad situation and headed straight into a horror movie. What is it with these girls and having secret bunkers underground? Okay, yeah, this is hereditary on steroids. How did that even happen? And also, what the f What, is this gonna be like the next generation of Pretty Little Liars with A coming around again? Exactly like the next generation of Pretty Little Liars. All right, so that was watching the first and last episode of Pretty Little Liars. That will probably be the only bits I ever watch because honestly, that whole show is built around mystery, suspense, and figuring out what actually happened. So once you figure out the ending, is there really a point to actually watch what happens at the end? You know what I mean? I will say though, it did have everything I was looking for. Murder, gossip, a little bit of secrets, and even predators, if you know what I mean. Now, seriously, what was up with that? Why did they have that build up the whole time? And that's the way they ended. I, you all gotta let me know in the comments. What was that whole situation? I had a fun time watching this. I hope you guys did as well. But before you head out of here, make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below to help push us farther into the algorithm so more people can and come talk about Pretty Little Liars and the rest of the Movies In Depth family. Also, don't forget to check out my two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Don't forget to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Movies In Depth, where we stream every single time a new video goes live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go on over to the page, follow it, and maybe even subscribe if you're feeling frisky. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord community, which you can chat with me and the rest of the Movies In Depth family. And don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Movies In Depth for the full uncut linked reaction to this and all other Movies In TV shows covered on the channel as well, including exclusive Patreon content like You Season 3, Firefly, and Supernatural. Once again, a massive thank you to today's video sponsor, Friendspire. Go over to the app and make sure that you sign up, follow me, and you can go see all the reviews and rankings of everything covered on the channel and further covered on the channel. And besides all that, I'll pretty little liars you all in another one.